In this video, I'm going to show you real quick how to create a little warning on a record in CRM. Um, so this is an example of what we're going to go over. Just, you know, there's a lot of times where you might want to provide your users with a little bit more information about specific fields or information that they might need to know before, you know, creating a certain record. And there's a real easy way to accomplish this using a web resource. So, you know, the example we're going to use today is if um, you know, an individual needs to open a new financial account um, here in CRM. Just a very basic example. I'm sure there's a lot of things you can think of or examples that might be useful um, just by seeing this. So I'll jump into this real quick. Now, what we're going to do when we create this web resource or add this to our form, this is not yet available in the new um, design experience in Power Apps. So this is something that for the time being, at least you do, will need to complete um, in the classic experience. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over to my advanced settings and open up my solution that I'm using for my customizations. And I'm going to navigate to the record that I actually want to add this web resource for. So for this example, we're going to use the account record. So you can see the one that I had already added for the account. Um, what I want to do is I want to add one um, at the top of the financial account section on my account record. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight that that section and I'm going to click the uh, go to the insert tab and I'm going to add a web resource. Um, I don't uh, if you already have a web re, uh, excuse me web resource created, um, you can search for that here. Um, I don't have one created for this example, so I'm going to create a brand new one. So when I go to search for more records, I, I should have this new button here in the bottom left hand corner. So I'm just going to name this one financial account warning. And I like to be specific with my display name. Um, sometimes it can pr be pretty difficult to locate a web resource based on the name. Just make sure you you label this um, to where you can find it when you need it. Financial account warning, and this is going to be an HTML web resource. So when I select that, all I have to do is click on text editor and here I can put you know whatever information I'd like to see. So for this example, I'm just going to make something up real quick. Um, please reach out to the manager. Just something simple like that. Um, you know, this this particular interface hasn't been updated to the new um, rich text editor that's available. Um, so you're you're limited in in your ability to you know change the formatting here. We've got a very basic amount of fonts to choose from, um, minimal amount of font sizes, and then you know your very basic color palette. Um, so I'll just show you that we can we do have the ability to you know, update the color of the text. Uh, we can bold and underline. Italicize, make that a little bit bigger. Um, you can add an image as well. Um, you can add a link. Uh, but again, you're you're pretty limited to what you are uh, able to plug in here. Without the use of code, so. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now my web resource is now technically created. I'm going to just save that and then publish. And once I save and publish, I'll be able to add this. Onto my form. All right, there's the financial account warning that I've just created. And click add. And label, I'm just going to call this financial account warning. Okay. 
And then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to move that to where it displays um, above my financial account grid. Uh, we do not, we're probably not going to need six rows. I'm going to bump that down to three real quick and we'll take a look and see what that looks like after we save and publish the form. All right, so now we're saved and published. I'm going to refresh my browser here. Now, if we flip over to that financial accounts tab, we can see that we've added that blurb about financial accounts before the user actually goes and clicks a new one. Now, we certainly do not need um, as many um, lines for this. And you also notice that we've got the box around this, which I don't think looks that great. So notice the, the one that I had already created looks a little cleaner. There's no box around it and there's not any extra spacing. So sometimes you just have to kind of play around with it um, and publish a couple of times to get it looking the way you want it to. We'll just open that back up and let's just bump that down to one line and let's uncheck the display border. Now, if you have, you know, if you have like a little paragraph written out or multiple lines, um, you can set the, the scrolling option. Um, you can set it to always, never, or as necessary. So if your text takes up more room, then there are lines available. Um, it'll show a little scroll bar on the side so you can scroll down. Um, I am going to set this to as necessary. I don't know if, if one line is going to be enough or not since our um, we changed the font size for that financial account verbiage. So we can see that that updated. I'm going to save and publish one more time and then go back and check and see what that looks like. And so we will refresh again. And let's see what that looks like. All right, much better. So now it doesn't have the border around it. Um, we aren't seeing the scroll bar because we didn't need any additional space, but you can see how this would be very useful, especially if you've got a really complex uh, CRM environment where you know, there's a ton of different fields and just that little bit of extra um, information can be really helpful for your users to where you know they might not have to reach out as much with questions um, and to prevent you know mistakes from happening if you know somebody creates a record uh, prematurely without checking on uh, certain items first. So just a little neat neat thing that you can do um, where you know you can be as descriptive as you want with your you know your field names, but there are character limits for those. Um, so being able to provide that extra verbiage for your users um, can be very helpful.